The Bucknell women's basketball team returned to action on Tuesday, right before Thanksgiving break to host Mount St. Mary's at Soika Pavilion. The Mount opened the contest with a 10-4 run, fueled by five points from Serafina Arthur Williams. Bounce pass from DeVore. Here we go on the other end. Serafina Williams is that you use a nice head fake to put it in. You have to sit out a year. And she did that, and she learned a lot by holding a clipboard on the bench. And it's a kick out to the far end. And Jessica Harris nails it. Down low to Serafina Williams. Hook shot. Circles the circumference of the rim and lips in. The Bison would get things going, scoring six straight points to knock the contest at 10 apiece. Right else? Jackie Klotz. She can do it all. Crossover dribble. Fade away. Classy Jackie Klotz. Oh, goodness. Oh, steal by Kai English. Soft hands from the freshman. Outlet pass to Sune Sworn. In transition. Oh, nicely done. Kai English to Sune Sworn. Mount St. Mary's would outscore the Bison 6-3 in the final two and a half minutes to take a 16-13 lead into the second quarter. They kick it out. A little inside-out basketball. Off-balance floater falls in for Catrice Dixon. The ball won by Mount St. Mary's. Unselfish pass. Layup at the buzzer. Oh, connected by Catrice Dixon. In the second period, the Mount connected on back-to-back -back layups in the opening minutes to take a 20-13 advantage. Team in rebounds per game was 7.7. Picks up a board there, Alexis Carter taking it coast to coast off the glass and high. Bucknell cut into the margin with a triple from Megan McGurk and a three-point play from Claire DeBoer. Both teams completed the sweep against Manhattan. We'll love a sweep on this Tuesday. DeBoer counts in the foul. 1% free throw shooter is a 79% free throw shooter this year. She makes the three-point play. Mount St. Mary's countered with a three ball to take a 23-19 lead, and it would be the last field goal for the Mount in the half. Bucknell finished the quarter on a 17-1 run to take a 36-24 lead into halftime. Six points for Sune Sworn. For three on that sequence. Sworn with an offensive board. Four times a charm it is. Megan McGurk, top of the key. That's as human after all. She's not a robot. Duliak! Oh, Jay! Rachel Duliak. She looked like Jen right there. Rachel Duliak. McGurk driving, collapses the D. Dumiak for three again, oh, nails it! Rachel Dumiak. This year, they've all been three-pointers. Sune Sworn steal, can she finish? Finger roll, yes, she can! Sune Sworn. Rachel Dumiak, not one, but two big threes, one on each side. The Bison ran away with the game in the third quarter, outscoring the Mount 21 to seven in the period. Oh, look at the head fake and the body control and spin and finish against Jessica Harris. Down by 12. Cross court. McGurk looking for a third three. Yes, ma'am. She got it indeed. Cuts out. Tyler Craig pops in. Oh, good deception by the Bucknell Bison. Announced by 10. Craig. Romaine. Oh, God, Romaine. Here's a three. Hey, the Bucknell play. She said the Bucknell out toughed and out worked. Notre Dame. And one of the girls who had a great game against Notre Dame was Kai English. Bucknell will go on to win the contest 71-45. Three players finished in double figures, including DeBoer, who finished with a game-high 19 points. McGurk recorded 11 points and 5 assists, while Sune Swore chipped in with 10 points and 5 boards. More offensive rebounding by the Bucknell Bison. Down low to Slagus. Oh, off the glass and pretty. Look like Tim Duncan right there. <laughs> Dumiak inside. Is Dumiak going to hit a two? Oh, my goodness. Rachel Dumiak hit a two. The Bison improved to 4 1 on the year and returned to action Sunday with a road trip to Buffalo to take on Canisius. Game time is set for 2 p.m.